another round of one of your favorite series. Remember, I need your question to keep this going, so leave your comments down below for rapid fire Q&A. Let's get to it. Theo Steen, when I export my song before mastering, should I cut the inaudible heights 17K? No, absolutely not. I don't know where you got that number. Maybe like you refer to what human hearing, the limits of human hearing. No, you should not cut uh, uh, 70K. You should not have excessive information over 17 or a 20 or something like that, but you absolutely should not cut a 17, especially your mix before exporting to mastering, if anything. Um, take care of the high frequency content track by track, do remixing. Same goes for the low end, okay? Make sure you treat the tracks individually and don't do massive moves on, on your final mix before exporting, okay? Uh, this, this is stuff that you treat in mix track by track. I have a video on using high cut on the tracks that are not meant to be bright. And that is a very important video. I wish more people would watch that. And same for your other question about uh, 30 and 40. It's smart to cut a stream a low frequency. It depends. It depends on the genre, first of all. On a rock track, 30, maybe. It also depends on what rock track is. Uh, if you're in a down-tuned band with like drop everything, drop bass, drop guitars and the kick and the bass and guitars are just super low and you need that information, yeah, you leave it. If you don't, you cut it. Uh, 808, EDM, hip hop, that's, that's old stuff that 30 is a bit low, but it's not a matter of cutting it. When we cut with a filter, we don't guillotine the low frequencies at 30. You just attenuate them, okay? So the key is not, is not to have too much, not just remove them completely. Even if I cut with my filters of my analog EQ, the drummer, is, is a slope. It's not a brick wall, okay? And some digital EQs do have a brick wall, and for sound design or special effects, you can use them, but no, it's, we attenuate, we contain the energy at the extreme of the frequency range because some of it is not audible. Mostly the vast majority of the reproduction systems cannot reproduce those ranges. So they just take headroom away. But generally speaking, no, it's not that you guillotine your mix. Uh, and anyway, I repeat it, you do it in mixing track by track. Because if you have one 808 that goes down to 30 or 25 and it needs to be there, you want to leave it there if you need that energy, okay? Hope this answers the question. <laughs>